Hello, Stampers. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Riverton, Utah. I am here with Sarah Douglas, CEO of Stampin' Up. We are going to stamp a beautiful fun fold for you. I thought it was really fitting that the concept art, right? Concept art mm -hmm. department came up with a fun fold for me to make with Sarah and we're using brand new product that you haven't seen yet. Yay! So we are going to be making an easel card. Sarah has been helping me cut out all the die cut pieces. <laughs> and um, yeah, there's a lot. So we're going to be using the wonderful Daffodil Daydream stamp set bundle. It comes with a whole bunch of beautiful dies, lots of daffodil flowers, some stems. We've got some beautiful, beautiful images in the stamp set. We're going to be using old olive and soft succulent inks with a soft succulent card base. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to fold this and burnish that edge. And now to make that easel part, we're going to be scoring this at two, two inches. And let's make sure that we have our cutting blade out of the way. That's always the worst when you cut when you should score. <laughs> it's always the worst. I've done it so many times. Whoops. So here we have our score line and we're just gonna also burnish that good. Now, we have a little bit of stamping to do. We're gonna use soft succulent ink. And then we've got these little speckles. I'm gonna let Sarah do this part. Okay. I do. I am going to, oh, we're gonna use old olive on here. Okay, we'll okay. Paint it. Like this. Yep, just like that. On my pants. <laughs> on her pants. There we go. <laughs> Don't do that at home. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to use old olive for our sentiment. Oh, let's get a. And I'm gonna grab this die. We're like double teaming this. We just got done talking about how our fingernails aren't letting us pick up these dies. <laughs> Makes so, it a little bit more challenging. Well, Sarah's working on that. I'm gonna come over here and die cut our Happy Mother's Day. Now you've got Happy Mother's Day and Easter blessings in the Daffodil Daydream stamp set. And of course, you could use any other sentiment that you might need. Get well. This would make, make a beautiful get well card, too. Or thinking of you. Thinking of sympathy. you. Sympathy. Absolutely. Okay, then we're going to start putting together flowers. Now, we've already taken the dies that you see here, and we've die cut with Daffodil Delight. The um, little bit darker color is Bumblebee. And I always have to remember the darker is for the detail. Yes. That's how I remember. Yeah. Oh, that's a good, that's <laughs> a good, yeah, that's a good thing to keep in your head. We're using adhesive sheets. So on these pieces that are going to go onto our flower layers, they've already got the adhesive sheets on there. We put it on the cardstock and then die cut them. So that turns these into stickers, which is Makes it a lot easier. So much easier right? than trying to touch the glue on all of the details. Yes, yes. Okay, so we're gonna grab, oh my goodness, if we can get them. <laughs> we just got done talking about how it's so hard to pick things up on this table. We're gonna get it. We're gonna bring in all these pieces. And we actually have- We're going to build the daffodils. Oops, that stays on there. Yep, we're gonna build all of these beautiful flowers. I've got all the stems right here. You have stems and you have, um, what do they call that? Um, it's like your leaf. Yes, ish. leaves. I wanted leaf. to say blades, but that's not what I was looking for. Okay, so we've got all this stuff going on. So this one, so you're building this flower. Do you wanna build this one and yep, I'll build this yep, one? Yep. We'll, we'll double time. So this is how you build it. You've got the two layers. You've got a dark um, layer, the bumblebee, and you'll layer it on top of this one and then on top. So this is what you get. And then you'll need two of these and one of these. So it's kind of hard to, we'll show you as we go, I guess. 
Okay, you need to, here, I'll let you use this if you need it too. Um, the Take Your Pick tool is really nice for taking the backing off the adhesive. So you can see the difference between the daffodil and the bumblebee. It's just a slight difference, but like Sarah said, detail is darker. Mm-hmm. It helps me remember. It makes total sense. And then we're going to grab another one of these. What we got right in the seam there with all these little ends. So you guys know that I am on my million dollar sales achievement trip today. Long time coming. I, we've been waiting right? a year, over a year to do this. <laughs> so exciting. We're on the year. It's been fantastic. Can I just tell you that this has been like a day I will never, ever forget. We're Stay lucky enough to be able to spend a couple of days, well, a whole day, at least today with Kelly. Yes. Which is so fun. In person, live, and having a ball. It's so cool. I feel like a rock star. I've said that several times. I just feel like a rock star. Okay, so we've got this flower going here. Then we have the little helicopter. I call these the little helicopter petals, right? And we've got some little detail ones. So you've got the bigger ones and the detail. We're going to layer these together. Well, what's cool about this too, so to make this daffodil, we're just layering two of the little pinwheels together, just like so. And then we'll layer the little top of the, the daffodil onto the, onto the flower right here. Oh, and then we have these cute little buds. Okay, so the little buds are fun because there's a tip to those. You wanna put the, the detailed part on, but then you have this little piece, this little tiny stem, and that's, so that you can adhere it to the the green part of the lead, of the stem, just like right underneath like this. It, otherwise you wouldn't have a way to adhere that. So it's really nifty. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is kind of like paint by the numbers. Yeah, you know, it like reminds putting, me of putting the pieces numbers. together. <laughs> I love the detail on these daffodils. Like it's so much layering, but not as hard as you might think. It really isn't. But that's why this is so helpful. So you can see up here on the, on the sheets, just step by step, what it takes to make this flower in particular. Okay, I think we're ready to do this. Putting the flowers together. Yep, so I'm just gonna add some glue right here. Trade you. What's been your favorite part about today? I think just getting to spend time with all the people, the people that I work with and talk to and, you know, I don't get to really see them in person. That's been really neat. We had a really nice lunch um, with Shannon and Rhett and, oh, just lots and lots of... Lots and lots of one-on-one -on -one time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't get that too often. Okay. okay. I think. Oh my gosh, we have our flowers. Yay! Yes! <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, I think what we need to do here is we need to stamp this image with the soft succulent. I'll grab that for you. Let me open this up. Good. Okay. Do you test your stamping before you stamp it on your card? Do you stamp on the scratch paper yeah, first? Usually. That's always a tip I love to do yep. so that I can so make sure it's see, straight. Right. And you you get just you can and you can also learn how much pressure is needed mm -hmm. because your um, more detailed stamps, you don't want to squish them out all over the place. Ugh. Oh, pretty Amazing. darn good, That's right? awesome. Yay. Okay. Well done. Then we are going to take our sentiment that we've already stamped and die cut, and we're going to add a couple dimensionals to the back of that. And this is the stopper for the easel card. This is what will hold it in place. The dimensionals, just that little bit popped up is what. Do you do this? You're going to now with your fingernails. <laughs> I will now. That's a great idea. Look right, at that. Stack you it really, all up. You really do adjust well to the nails. There we go. Okay, so this is going to be our easel part. Very nice, right? And Love now that. we need to get our flowers in here. So, And we'll only put adhesive on the bottom half. Right. So that when it pops up, they stick out above that fold, which exactly. is going to make them just stand out. Okay, so... Now, I'm going to push this down like this so I can see where do I need to go with all these petals. You don't want it to go above your card so that it fits mm -hmm. in an envelope. Great so, tip. 
I am going to just kind of hold my finger right there. I'm going to put some adhesive right on this and we're going to pop this right down here. We're, we'll trim these off when we get to that point. Okay. I will be your assistant. Okay. <laughs> you will be my assistant. We are going to, let's glue these little buds on these stems. Okay, I've got so, that. Okay. You, I'll do that while you do you're, that part. you're this figuring out where go everything this goes. This way. I love that you can flip these. Yep, flip them to right? go whichever way you need them to go. And we're going to take this one, and I'm thinking, oh, right about in here is going to look good. And again, just make sure that you're not getting glue on the back up here where it's going to fold like this, like I just did. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Whew, saved it. Okay. And go this way. And it really doesn't matter how they go on there. You just want to have them go in different directions so that you've got a variety of flowers with really only one set of dies. The other thing I love about this adhesive is you can kind of move it around. If I don't get it perfect the first time, it's okay, which I love. Yeah, that's my favorite about the liquid glue also is that you get wiggle room because you know that when you put something down the first time, it isn't always just perfect, right? Because we are not, we're making homemade cards. There's not a lot of perfection that goes into. Don't you feel like the, the things that cards. make your cards unique are the imperfections? Exactly. That's exactly it. Okay, we're gonna pop this right in here. So now Sarah has put the little bud on the end here and I'm just going to put it right on the card. I want it to kind of go all the way up to the top. I'm going to look at that back because it looks like I have some glue where it doesn't belong. Let's wipe that off right away. Then we won't have to, it won't stick later. Okay, here we go. We need to, do we have some more stem ends for these flowers? Do you mean to cut some more? Yeah, maybe a few more. All right, I can handle that. Here we go. Um, here's this one and this one. Okay, and we'll just keep kind of popping these. The moral of this story is cut lots of pieces so that you can mix and match and create the card as you go. That's what I would say. I would say that is accurate. <laughs> Absolutely. And I kind of am holding my finger where that glue needs to stop at the bottom. It's a good tip. Right? Yeah. Kind of keep that so you're not going too far. I think if you're nervous about where to place the stems, lay them out as you go, and then you can kind of move things around too. So if you're, this one will look if you're a little bit more right nervous here. about placement. And I think we have one more. Remember? I'm going to put that on right like this. Yep. There you go. I'm going to do this. Thank you for the extra stem. Of course. Math is hard. <laughs> well, I kind of, I was going to say, when you're, when you're making the card, like it looks a little bit um, kind of like they're all over the place, but let me, it's going to make such a difference when you cut that end off and everything looks exactly as it should. Right. <laughs> okay. There we go. This is looking great. Oh, I love that. Right. Okay. Here comes, this is going to be the last little factor. The final touch. Yep. Well, we have some embellishing to do, but this will be the final touch of all the flowers. You're cutting your stems. Look at that. Love it. Isn't that cool? Now check that out. This is our easel. How about, can we do this? Will that work? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> this is a pretty fancy studio, people. I'm well, not going to lie. They'll be able to pop in on this, but look how that just sits right in there. It's beautiful. And of course you can make, you can make other colors of flowers too, mm -hmm. right? Okay, now we're gonna pop a few of these blue adhesive backed gems. And I think we're just gonna do one here. Got all these different pink ones and you can use any of the colors, they'll all be pink. beautiful. Yep, you could put a whole rainbow on here just because your flowers our yellow doesn't mean you have to stick with the yellow. Let's do a little one. How about a little one? Right down there. 
What do you think? I love how that turned out. I think that's beautiful. A little bit of bling goes a long way. Oh my gosh, Sarah, this ah! has been so fun using new product, making a fantastic little fun fold card and perfect for Easter or Mother's Day. Absolutely love this. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. I can't hardly wait to share the new products coming out in the spring, January, January through June, June <laughs> mini catalog. We're going to have some great, great projects in there, and I will be making a lot more with this bundle. So watch for that. Sarah, thank you so much for making a video with me today on the most amazing day at Stampin' Up. We've Thanks had for having me. so much fun. This has been a blast. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You're going to find that button in the bottom right hand corner. And the button that's popping up on your screen in the top right is where you can place an order if you need any Stampin' Up supplies. I always appreciate your orders. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye everybody.